right, three sets each of that drop set to kind of warm the body up and prime it. Now to the heavier and just repetitive shit. Let's get it. So I've got a lunch at the Londoner, which is a insane hotel. I actually stayed here when I went to the British Fashion Awards, but I'm here for a lunch for a meeting and I'm very much looking forward to the food. So I didn't have a big breakfast, but also I am feeling so run down again. I've been eating, drinking, sorry, cold and flu like it's water. My nose is so bunged up, you can probably hear it, but mm, anyway, let's get into this lovely hotel, do the meeting, grab some lunch, Hopefully I'll feel better later. Okay, lunch slash meeting finished. And Will and I are in identical outfits. The oh. most annoying thing is, right, that we're walking down, what street is this, whatever. We're in London right now. We're by the Strand. We're by the Strand. And people are just looking us up and down. And we look like absolute idiots. It's like our mum's dressed us when we were kids again. <laughs> so what mum used to actually do when we were twins? We dress us in identical outfits, which is what, we're doing, which is what we've done today. It looked cool as kids, because it's like, oh, they're twins, it's cool. But when you turn 30, 
It isn't yeah. cool. It's embarrassing. See, even the school kids. I look at. I look at. I think we're exactly. Two words out of my mouth. Home time. Get me away from this kid. Oh, I walk 20 feet behind me. You freak. So Will and I are currently planning the route where we're going to be taking the run club. Um, we're thinking outside the store, run all the way down Kings Road, over this bridge here, which I think is Battersea Bridge or Albert Bridge, and then through to Batty Park along this bit right here where we're standing, over to Albert Bridge. Please correct me if I've got that wrong. I don't know. And then back down King, um, Sloan Square across Kings Road. And I think that's going to be 5K. So we are currently checking our watch right now. We've done 360 meters. And we're on the old Boris bikes. And we're going to be just doing the quick loop to see how far it actually is. Now? No, you do, Jack. Wow, that's Just so that nice. Look <gasps> oh, 
I love that. Look at the detail as well. Shoulder pads, wow. gold Holland Cooper buttons. That looks amazing. Look at that as well. Wow. That's so nice, isn't it? Should I try it all on? Yeah. Try it on. I'm always so bad at opening boxes. <laughs> Crash it. Oh. Wow. Oh, I've got your blazer in there as well. Oh. It's nice. Is it lovely? So that's the one that I've gone for, the thick one. Navy blue, which actually is actually exactly what I wanted. Because it's thicker with the trousers. Yeah. So, so I didn't get the merino wool one. That's lovely. That is nice, exactly what I wanted. Actually, cost slightly thick, perfect. Perfect though. Well, the bit, the, the shoes, they're gorgeous. just got back from such a lovely walk with my partner and we went to Battersea this evening, we just had a little stroll together and we always enjoy that but I just wanted to come on here and express my gratitude for what went on today. Uh, I've, I was so nervous all yesterday and I have actually been thinking about it all week about the run club and about what happens if no one turns up and or only 10 people turn up and the big brand have all this expectation on Will and I to like fill this run club and what if no one turns up and it's going to be a disaster and it's going to affect me, my brand, everything, oh, it would have just been a disaster but it didn't and it turned out way better than expected. Over 120 people turned up to support us, the brand and it was just an amazing achievement and I'm so grateful for every single person who turned up and turned up early on a, Friday, on a Saturday morning to run 5k around London. When people all come together to run, I think it's just such an amazing thing because everyone's so authentic and like when you go out on nights out, everyone can talk to anyone because you're like buzzing off booze and you're just a bit high on life and that's great, but that's not your true authentic self. Your true authentic self is when you're in like vulnerable situations when you can generally have a nice conversation with someone and you see that sweet people's true selves, whether it be your friends and other people and new people you may meet and I think it makes such good conversations because you're releasing like endorphins and it just make and dopamine and it just makes you feel great and you have like such happy happy conversations with people and i had so many conversations with people i've never met before and it was like some people were just buzzing to be there for allo some people there from will and i and we met so many people who we've connected with on social media and i've never met them in real life and they're like they've been watching my journey from like running seven marathons or running marathons and or just fashion and it's it was so good to be able to give back to a bit of them today and it was just a great experience um how many more we'll do, I don't know. Maybe it'll be like one a quarter or one a month. I couldn't do a weekly because I haven't really got the time. But yeah, it was really good to be a part of such a huge brand. Like some of the biggest stars in the world are part of this brand and it felt amazing to be associated with them here in London. So hopefully it can be associated with Aloe more and more as it, it goes on and they grow and we grow our brand as well. So basically it's just a massive shout out to you guys. And yeah, I mean, I would have never thought this five years ago that I'd be hosting a run club with one of the world's biggest brands and now here I am. So quite a cool experience I guess, right? But Carmen is making fajitas and I'm very hungry. <laughs> <laughs>